look. There's my cat meal. With glowing eyes. <laughs> uh, you know, where's the... Oh, there's the camera. Uh, just a quick one here. Um, uh, tomorrow I'm having a CT cardio angiogram. And uh, I thought I'd just do little snippets of uh, how I'm finding it. First of all, I'm told that I have to not have coffee for 24 hours, which, uh, if you saw my last vlog, you'll know is a bit of an issue for me. Anyway, I cheated a bit. I have had a little bit of coffee. But uh, most things I find on the website say 12 hours. So, too bad, too sad. Uh, coping all right. It's just the, um, probably more the thought of, uh, you know, when you can't have something. But, um, yeah, it's not till three o'clock tomorrow, as it turns out. So, uh, that's a bit of a struggle. But I mean, I'm going to have some bone broth now anyway. Which I'll make a video, a video, blah, 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 a video about soon. Um, look, basically, just thought I'd do this little sequence of, uh, events. <laughs> For people that want to watch, and they have one to go to, and um, I'm sure it'll be fine. It uh, is or will be. The, oh, my light's gone off. Why is that? Oh. Ah. Anyway, light's gone off. We'll carry on regardless. Um, it will be the gold standard for uh, cardiograms. It's just precautionary, really. Uh, it's only because I had one dizzy spell last year late and people said, oh, you better go and get it checked. So I did. Led me to the stress test, which I will never go do again. The old treadmill nearly killed me, literally. Non-definitive results. A couple of meh questions. So this is the natural follow-up. Next step was a cardiologist for $300. Thank you very much. And tomorrow's going to see me outlay $850 uh, at the Wesley Private Hospital. The alternative is wait forever at the public. So, um, anyway, uh, and, uh, yeah, maybe I'll chop bits of this to make it a little bit more coherent. I'm just tired as hell, which is pretty normal for me, but there's another... Issue. I'm thinking, well, let's make sure it's not your heart that you're uh, so tired for. So that's the sequence. Um, I'm being driven there and driven back because it's not ideal to uh, drive because I'm to take a beta blocker tablet three hours before the scan. Uh, also take one with me in case they need to top it up. <sighs> so, yep, whilst I won't be able to um, probably take the camera in with me. You can search the actual procedure. I just wanted this to be a um, like a more of a personal. How do I feel about it? I'm not too worried about it. The only part I don't like is needles. So they do stick a needle up your arm, and they use a machine apparently to inject a, a quantity of radioactive uh, tracer dye into your body. So at least I won't need lighting from now on. I'll be self-illuminating. Um, anyway, hey, look, preventative medicine does save a lot of lives. And uh, there's nothing really that's uh, out there to uh, take the alternative of this, which is you know, basically they can look at the the uh, the imaging afterwards and check everything, valves, arteries, uh, the whole lot. So um, it would be good to know, I guess. Um, I'm hoping that there won't be any major problems. Of course, and if there's not, at least it'll be good to know. It may motivate me to stop smoking, which I'm on the verge of doing anyway. I've had enough of it. As I say, my breathing is so bad sometimes, it's uh, incredible. So this is not a sympathy vlog, it's just, if you're going to for one, just don't panic too much. It's just a test. They they will not be putting stints or anything in. It's, it's my cat. One of them. Um, totally non-invasive. So I will um, get, lead this to a conclusion. Uh, I'll tell you, the first thing I'll be doing once uh, they say that's it, you can go. We'll be going straight to the cafe in the hospital. 
and uh, having at least one cup of coffee. So, uh, all right, stay tuned. Next installment coming up.